welcome back to coding stuff in this video we'll be learning how to implement card views in the list view so we'll be creating app like this here we have one card view and inside that we'll be having one image view and image title so in the next video we'll learn how to implement card views in the recycler view and in the description box i will provide link to download the source code if you are having any errors you can check with that so let's fire up our android studio and start creating the app so i have created one empty project here so first thing we have to do is uh, we have to import card view dependency so there are lots of ways to uh, import card view dependency but the easiest one is just search your card view and click on this download it will automatically import card view dependency so from android 7.0 that is no got card views are introduced and card views are quite popular for their rounded corners and shadow based elevation so we often use card view as a layout for each item in list view or recycler view and youtube also uses card view to display their content and instagram also use card views for displaying their each post so card views dependency has been imported successfully so let's write the code so first thing we have to do is we'll just uh, drag one list to here so just search your list view and we'll drag it here to the screen and we'll constrain it to up left and right so horizontal in parent and vertically in parent and we'll provide it id as a list view okay and why is that just uh, write width as a match parent and height also as a match parent and now we will provide it a margin of let's say 15 dp and in the list we will write uh, one property also that is divider and we'll give it color as a white and we'll provide also divider height that will be 15 dp uh, let's 13 dp okay and we'll just initialize it in our main activity dot java so private list view m list view and let's find its id so m list view find view by id r dot id dot list view okay now we have to create one layout for card views so go to your resource and layout new layout resource file and we'll name it as card and make sure you change this constraint layout to the card views card view and now we'll click on ok so now we'll place press uh, alt ctrl l that will format my code and we'll change its height to the wrap content so wrap content and we'll provide it a corner radius so that will be card corner radius of 15 dp and now we'll just uh, add your relative layout so that will be of match parent and match parent and we'll add here one image view that will be of a width of match parent and height will be 260 dp and we'll uh, pass here scale type as a center crop okay and we'll give it id that will be image view now we just have to add one text view so that will be wrap content wrap content and text size will be 24 sp and text style will be bold so let's take advantage of our relative layout so that will be layout below of id image view and let's set any dummy text coding stuff and central horizontal will be true and last thing we have to provide id to it that will be text view okay so now we have to create one custom adapter class so right after on create method we'll write public class my adapter it will extends our base adapter 
and we'll press alt enter here and we'll implement methods so it will provide me four methods so before that we have to create a uh, arrays so just write here private first will be string array that will be names of images so we'll just pass here as a image one image two and image three and we have to copy some Im images so I will just copy it from my desktop and we will paste it into our drawable folder and now we will create array for those images so private int images r dot drawable dot a r dot drawable dot b and the last okay so come to our my adapter class so uh, here get count will uh, pass the size of our uh, data so that will be images dot length and we don't have to do anything in get item or get item id we'll just jump to our get view so here we have one convert view so we'll just set our card layout to it so convert view is equal to get layout inflator dot inflate will pass here our layout card and then parent view group and then we'll pass false to root attached to root method okay and now we have to import this uh, image view and text view so we'll find them by find view by id so image view and image view convert view dot find view by id r dot id dot image view and the text view and text view is equal to convert view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view So we'll return here convert view. So now we have to set the text and set the image. So just write here m text view dot set text and that will be names of position. So we have taken this position from this position. Okay. And then m image view dot set image resource images of position so this is it for this class now we have to just set it so we'll just create object of our base or oh sorry our my adapter adapter new my adapter and we'll set it to our list view so m list view dot set adapter and we'll pass the adapter okay this is it now we'll run our app and check if it's working or not So yeah, very decent. So yeah, one thing you can notice here, there is one scroll bar. So we can remove it. So just go to our activity main dot layout and just one line of code that will be scroll, sorry, scroll bars and we'll set it none. Let's check if it's gone or not. So yeah, it is gone now. You can see here. Again, you can uh, add uh, many more images if you want. So this is it for now. In the next video, we'll learn how to implement card views in the recycler view because in today's uh, days, we just use uh, recycler views. We don't use the list view that much because recycler view are the updated versions of our list view. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are liking the tutorials. Thank you. Thank you.